Welcome to day six of What's Up. It's not What's Up. It's Coronacation. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, hey, it's Coronacation with Corey, Corey, and Andrew. <laughs> We're off to a great start. <laughs> I'm so glad that you're joining us. And man, we love seeing the videos that you're sending in. Yep. Keep doing that. And we love your feedback. We love seeing we do. games that you're enjoying, skits that are making you laugh, and just ways that we can hang out with you when you're stuck at home. So thank you. Thank you, thank you. Speaking yeah. of videos, can we just jump into yeah, some of our we, first ones? We have one. Check it out. Hello, wonderful people. I'm Erica, and this month I'm showing you some of my favorite do-it-yourself hacks while we talk about forgiveness. Forgiveness is deciding that someone who has wronged you doesn't have to pay. Forgiveness can wipe away some pretty ugly stains. And have I got some doozies for you. Take a look. Looking at this carpet, you might think I would be living in a zoo. But nope, this is still my new apartment. Before I moved in, my upstairs landlord, Miss Watson, let her dog stay down here sometimes. But her dogs are bigger and familiar. Be glad your handy video service does not yet offer smell-o-vision. <sighs> so, let's take care of some stains, shall we? I have pre-treated this carpet with some handy dandy mix <coughs> mixture of vinegar and baking soda and water for the smell. But the real hero today is the carpet cleaner! The first pass shoots soap and hot water into the carpet, and then on the second pass, it sucks it all back in, along with all the dirt. Did you see that? Wow! Yeah! Oh, I can just kiss this cop. No? No, 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 no please, wait! Ah, no! Oh, come on, Twinkie! No! Look at all the dirt! I can just clean it. I'm sad. Bible story, you'll meet someone who got a little out of control. Eh, good thing I like power tools. Let's do this. Lawson, and I love some of the stuff you guys have to say about my show. In fact, I'm going to share this snap jabber from Micah in Missouri. He says, hey Lawson, the stories you tell are super funny, just like your face. My face? My, my, my face? <laughs> Micah thinks my face is funny? He thinks my face is funny? You think my face is funny? Oh, that's so not cool. My face is not funny. Ooh, I should post something really mean on his account. Ooh, something. But it should be funny too. Mean and funny. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Well, while I think about it, I'm gonna tell you this awesome story I just heard about this girl in a class that my mom teaches. Ada and her younger sister Carmen share the same birthday exactly one year apart. It's like always having your best friend right there. They share a room, they share snacks, they share their clothes at the same time. But while Ada is neat and organized, Carmen's not. And while Ada's stuff stays clean, Carmen's does not. So one day, Ada finds this beautiful fuzzy white sweater online and Carmen says, hey, you should get that. And Ada's like, I think I will. And then she saves up for a whole month to buy it. And when she tries on that sweater, she feels amazing. Like a million bucks. On Saturday, she decides to wear the sweater to Sabrina's birthday party. But when she pulls it out, she shrieks, ah, a spot. That spot is like a giant black hole sucking away all Ada's happiness for ever. She stalks off to find Carmen and she demands, did you wear my sweater? And Carmen's like, I didn't notice the spot. 
and Ada says, I'm never talking to you again. Then things get tense, really tense. The only thing that Ada can think about is how mad she is. For days, she finally decides that the best thing to do is to find something that Carmen loves and mess it up. She imagines how upset Carmen will be. But that's when she finally gets it. Staying angry just makes them both miserable. So Ada finds Carmen and says, I come in peace. Ada says that even though what Carmen did was wrong, I'm gonna stop being mad. And Carmen says, I'm really, really sorry. And then they hug and high five and do the hokey pokey. So kids, never wear white after Labor Day or before the equinox, or ever, actually. But do always remember that forgiveness is deciding that someone who has wronged you doesn't have to pay. So, Micah in Missouri, you think my face is funny? Well, I think that you are probably a nicer guy in person than online. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Dear God, it was supposed to be my night. Every dance had gone so well, and Mrs. Lexley brought me flowers. And that's when everything went wrong. Daniel ruined everything. He always gets the attention. We had been rehearsing for weeks. And he just got in the way. I was mad, embarrassed, and mad, mad, mad. By the time I got home, well, I guess I realized he was just excited for me. And I guess I overreacted. So I decided to go ask for forgiveness. God, you teach me so much in so many different ways. Thank you for giving me a little brother who is better at forgiving than anyone else I know. Please, help me to be more like that. Love, Morgan. Andrew, we heard such great things about the nailed it or failed it cat edition. Oh, yeah. And so uh, we, The Butler girls. Oh, they loved and it. And the Cook boys. They loved it, too. They did. And so they told we have that. round two of cat edition, oh, nailed yeah. it or failed it. So they tell them how to play. So you're going to see a video, and it's going to start with a cat, and he's going to look like he's jumping, or she's about to pounce, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to just pause midair and pause midair and you have to guess did they nail it did they make the jump or did they fail did they fall to the ground but cats they always land on their feet so no cats were harmed in the making of this video we think maybe so yeah have fun so it'll pause you have to guess nailed it or failed it and then you watch the video proceed now it's a 50 50 chance of you getting it right so andrew I think you might get one right this time. I might. We'll see. Let's play.
check this out. No more stains! It's like they weren't even there! Huh. That's what God's forgiveness is like. God is like the father in the story. When we mess up or break his rules or don't make wise choices, God is always ready to welcome us home the moment we turn back to him. Our sins, our stains are cleaned right up. Here's the whole story. In the beginning, God had the perfect relationship with the people he created. Then people broke God's rules, which broke their relationship with God. Things got real messy for hundreds of years, but God had a plan to clean things up. God sent his son, Jesus, to give his life to pay for our sins. And because of that, every one of us can be forgiven. And it's every one of us who needs forgiveness. You may not have run away from home and wasted a fortune partying like the younger son, but each one of us has done things that hurt our relationship with God from sneaking an answer off a neighbor's test paper to telling your mom and dad you did your homework when you were really playing a game. <laughs> the amazing news is, when you believe in Jesus, God cleans away all the wrong things you've done like that. Here's the one thing to remember today. Everyone needs to be forgiven. You, me, Mrs. Watson, her dog, Twinkie, everyone. <laughs> we're going to make a mess from time to time some more than others, but be grateful that we have a loving, forgiving father who's waiting with open arms. Okay, Twinkie, I'll come play with you. Upstairs, I want the carpet to stay clean, always. No paw prints, no mud, no poop. Love you, see ya. Hey, thank you so much for joining us for today's episode, day six of, it's Friday. It is Friday. Chronication. Chronication. With Corey <laughs> and Andrew. Uh, this weekend, we are going to be opening up the Bible and reading Luke chapter 15. We're going to be around verses 11 through 24. It's really only like this first part of the story. Next week, we'll look at the second part of the story. But we wanted to give you a heads up so that you can open up your Bible Today, yeah, go ahead. Right now, it. when this video ends, go find a Bible, open it up, and where are they at again? Luke, 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 chapter fifteen. Yeah, that sounds right. Verse eleven through twenty-four. Go read it. Uh, get your younger brother, sibling. Go yeah. get them to watch, read it with you, um, or mom and dad. Maybe even your neighbor. They That's might right. be lonely. Ooh. Or FaceTime with grandma. Yeah. You've got all kinds of options here, but open up your Bible, read it, and uh, you'll get like a sneak peek of what we're going to be talking about Sunday morning. That way they will be ready to hear it yeah. again. And they'll know. They'll they're, know They'll know to anticipate the story. Because they're on the inside scoop. That's right. Cool. Well, we will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow.